I just have to say hello to all the imaginary people in my webcam. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back, or welcome to the channel. I'm DeveTunes. This past March, I got to participate in my first uh, vendor pop-up market thing, and it was pretty fun. And I said that I was going to make a info video on what my budget was. I opened up a Q&A on my Instagram and I saved the questions from that, so I'm going to answer that as I go. And I'm pretty much just going to use that as the outline for what you wanted to know. If you want to see the process of how I set up, what my setup looked like, how the day went, there is a vlog that you can watch. One of the first questions I got was how to get started. What was the paperwork? This was an invitational market. The way that I got into contact is I put in an application to this vendor. They host like a bunch of vendor markets and things throughout the year and they reach out to you if they want you to apply for their event. The email where they reach out to you is not an acceptance email. It is a tell us what you sell if you want to apply for this event and we'll come, we'll get back to you. When you are accepted, they give you the table cost. And then at that point you can choose if you're going to go or not based on that. The cost of reserving was $250 and that was for a space and that's it. You have to bring your own supplies. All of it is provided by you. They are just providing you the vendor space to be there. And that's pretty much all of the paperwork that was involved. My budget was very tight after I got approved for this reserved space, which kind of leads me into the next question, which was, what did you learn? I only had about $150 left over in my art account at the time. So what I really wanted to do was learn how to utilize what I already have, as well as, you know, search for things that I can borrow. The number one thing that I borrowed was my tent. I did not put in the money to even go to this thing until I knew that I had a tent because I was not about to spend all the money on the pop-up. After that, I had to assess what do I have on hand? What do I need to buy? On hand from either just past purchases or past events. I have sticker supplies. I had caricature supplies, which was a big one. I had ink for my printer, I had a printer in general, so I could make my own signage. I had a free square reader already. I had a free Venmo business kit, grid storage squares from previous Artist Alley stuff, packaging supplies, and I had keychain supplies. Things that were donated to me or that I borrowed was my canopy, my canopy weights I borrowed from my parents, lanterns I also borrowed from my parents, uh, wound up not needing them because daylight savings happened right before. Chairs, I borrowed chairs as well, folding chairs from uh, my pastor who donated the Easy Up and then it actually wound up being our Easy Up that we let him borrow for like a beach event a long time ago and then my mom was like, is this the Easy Up that Pastor Bill gave you? And I was like, yeah. She was like, this is our Easy Up, how funny. That was the whole thing. So it was our easy up. So technically I borrowed it from my parents too. Things that I bought. So this is where money was actually spent. The vendor space was 250. I made my own signs at home. The laminate was 1735. I got a table at Ross for $32. A clamp light for this was about $33. A cash box on Amazon, which was $12. I got a tablecloth, also $12. And canopy walls, but this was so, so, so worth it because it wound up being really windy. And if I had not gotten those canopy walls, my entire table would have blown over. Saved my life. Outside of the table costs, I spent about $150 on my own things that I needed. Oh, I lied. I did actually purchase the square contactless reader, which was another 50. So I overall spent $450 on the event. And that really is not bad at all. So I, I think I did a pretty good job because I made back all of that money and a little bit extra. At the event, I wound up making $564.12. It doesn't seem like it, would, it is a lot of profit, but I, made, I hit profit and that's all that matters to me. The next question that I got was what point of sales system did you use? I brought a few. Cash App, Venmo, Square, and PayPal. I made no sales on Cash App or one sale on Venmo, no sales on the free Magstripe card reader, and no payments on PayPal. That contactless reader from Square, you can use the chip or you can tap where people can also use like Apple Pay, Google Pay. So I also provided Apple Pay, Google Pay, and all those pays. That was like 
98% of my sales that I made that day. If it wasn't a cash sale, it was most likely on the square reader. The final question that I got is, what were the drawbacks of your experience? And honestly, it was a really positive experience for me, so there wasn't too, too many. The biggest drawback, um, if we had not figured this out, I don't know what I would have done. We were at a park, there was no Wi-Fi. However, the Lord provided. <laughs> the Lord came in clutch in the form of my sister's mobile hotspot. If it had not been for mobile hotspot, I wouldn't have been able to use my card reader. I probably would have lost so much money that day. My faith was projected so high over the experience of this event with the Lord just showing me how to use what I have and how he can use what I have already, which was very nice to learn. That's all my info. I hope that this helped. I'm a little scatterbrained when it comes to these kinds of videos. I hope you uh, have made it all the way through. If you have made it all the way through, congratulations. Here's a little star for you. Thank you for watching the whole video. Happy uh, whatever time zone day, month of the year that you're watching this. I'll see y'all on the next one. If you're still here and you're not subscribed yet, we're almost at 300. What are you doing? Just click it. It's free. Okay, bye.